Hi everybody, it's Judy here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I just wanted to do a full face of makeup. Well, maybe not a full face, but just some nice, glowy, natural makeup using products that I have received from my BoxyCharm boxes in the past several months or however long I've been receiving BoxyCharm. So I just wanted to actually put to use the new makeup that I've been receiving and some most of this is actually a first impression. So I suppose I'm just gonna chat through it, put on a bit of makeup. I don't wanna go too full heavy with makeup but I suppose it's just a matter of going in with some products and seeing what kind of look I come up with. I've kind of got this vision of creating a makeup look that is not too much effort and something just a bit glowy and just something to make me feel a bit better about myself. <laughs> something a little bit prettier and I'm gonna do makeup that makes me feel good, okay? So, and I suppose that's what makeup is all about. For me these days, it's just putting some on to make me feel a little bit better about myself, make me feel pretty, you know? Like I don't need makeup to, to establish my self-esteem, but sometimes makeup is really helpful to make me feel pretty. So I suppose that's what I'm gonna be doing today, using products that I've received in my boxy charms in the past several months. So that's what today's video is. Uh, thanks guys for watching, and let's just start applying some makeup, shall we? face primer. This is actually the Too Faced Hangover Proactive Nourishing Coconut Water Probiotic Based Ingredient Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. It's a mouthful and a half. So I'm just going to give some of that. I've heard that if you use too much of this on the skin, it starts to pill and like ball off on the skin. So I'm just going to go in with a little bit in my problem areas, which is mostly my dry areas. The, those areas are around my nose and I just want to hydrate the skin and fill in those pores and lines a little bit I suppose. I've heard a lot of good things about this primer and so I'm excited that I finally got it in a boxy charm because it's Too Faced is not one of those brands that I go out on my own to purchase but I like the smell of this. It smells like coconuts and it feels very very um, hydrating and pore filling. So I suppose now that my face is slightly primed. I had gone in with some skincare earlier today and so I just needed that little bit of an extra hydration to revitalize the skin again. So I've gone in with primer. I actually want to go in with some foundation next. Normally I'd go in with the eyes but I don't think I'm going to be doing too much of the eyes today. I just want to go in with a little bit of the Viseart or Visart eyeshadow palette. I was actually really excited to receive this because I've heard that the Visart is really really super expensive so I was excited to get that in my BoxyCharm. But I got this in my April BoxyCharm. This is the Becca 24 hour foundation with ultimate coverage and this one, they sent me the one in the shade Olive. I think it's a pretty close match to be honest. I swatched this on my face yesterday and it's a really super high coverage foundation from what I swatched and felt of it. So I'm not going to go in with too much, I suppose. I'm just going to use a damp sponge to apply this. I really just want a little bit of foundation, I suppose, to even out the redness or darkness that I have on my skin. I don't really go in with a whole heap of foundation anymore these days. I just want a little bit, like I said, to even out the color in my skin and just to kind of give myself a little bit of coverage but I don't go in super heavy with a cake face anymore these days. When I used to go in with super, super, super heavy uh, coverage foundation, those were my ballroom dancing days and I'd go in with a whole heap of makeup, but now I don't feel like I really need a lot. That coverage is actually really, really good. I didn't apply a whole heap and I kind of like how it just smoothed out the coloring the coloring in my skin I suppose like you can still see my skin through it but it's just applied really nicely and let me see it's blended in really super nicely over the area that I applied that primer as well I think I want to go in with just a tiny little bit more I go in with some concealer now but I haven't actually ever received a concealer in my BoxyCharm as far as I can remember so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more foundation just more in those areas where I would normally go in with concealer just for that little bit more coverage and then I think I'm good I'm happy with that so just blend that in I actually really like this it's got a really strange smell it actually smells like the 
wet, not Flower Beauty, Flower Beauty and Wet n Wild foundations have very similar formulation, but this one smells like the Wet n Wild, I think it's the Photo Focus Filter Foundation. I don't know, I think it's just Photo Focus Foundation. It smells a lot like that, a lot like paint almost. But this is applied really, really nicely to the skin. I've heard that Becca ha has really good formulation when it comes to face, like face-based products. So I really like that. And it's actually a pretty good match. Really good match. Very impressed with that. The thing with BoxyCharm is that when you apply or sign up for a subscription, you can answer this quiz that kind of helps them tailor the box to your needs. Like you can tell them what kind of skin type you need, what kind of products you're excited about to receive. And they even have a little survey about your skin tone. So I'm very, very happy with this shade match. They did really, really well. So as you can see there, it's given me some really good coverage, It's just, but it's just basically evened out my skin tone without making my skin look cakey or covered in some type of product. Like you can you can tell I'm wearing makeup, but you can't tell I'm wearing makeup if that makes any sense. So really, really happy with that actually. I think I've got a new favorite foundation. It's actually covered my skin in a way where I'm, or I would actually just smack on some mascara and maybe a lip balm and then go out with that. Whereas other foundations, when I've applied them, I feel like I need to go in with a little extra, like with something more just to make my face not look so blanked out. But I'm actually really happy with that. I'm not gonna leave it at that because like I said in this video, I'm gonna be applying other products that are received from BoxyCharm. I suppose now I'm gonna go in with the Vise Art eyeshadow palette. I was so excited when I got this one because apparently this one is really super up there in retail price. I stopped doing BoxyCharm unboxings because um, they just didn't do very well so I kind of stopped doing them. People didn't really seem to enjoy watching them so yeah, I just stopped doing them. <laughs> I'm looking for an eyeshadow primer. Zoeva. Did I get this from BoxyCharm though? This was either BoxyCharm or Stylevana. One of the two. I think it was BoxyCharm. This is a Zoeva Eyeshadow Fix Pearl Long Wear Eyeshadow Primer. And just for the sake of having something on my eyelids, I'm gonna go in with a bit of this. So here we go. It has a bit of a pearl shimmer finish, but it really doesn't provide much coverage in itself. But that's okay. As long as the eyeshadows stick to it, I am happy. And I'm surprised my eyelids aren't aren't darker than they are <laughs> because I've had some really bad nights the last this last week. So I'm surprised that my eyes don't have darker circles than they do. Anyway, let's consider my eyelids primed. <laughs> let's go in with some eyeshadow. So I'm just grabbing this Morphe M433 brush, and I think it's funny because these three shades look the same. This might be just a little bit darker, but I'm just going to pick up some of this and blend this into my crease. Wow, that's really pigmented. I didn't set down the primer with anything, so it's quite sticky right now. So I can understand that those shadows are really showing up. This is blending in beautifully. It's not catching. Like I said, I didn't set down that primer and I would expect eyeshadows to apply quite patchy over it, but this is not. This is applying really, really nicely. It's blending really nicely too. Now I can see why the Visart palettes have been quite a rage. I can see this being used very extensively in a lot of artistry, uh, artistry kits, like makeup artist kits. That blended in so beautifully. That is very buttery and smooth. I should think that this palette is kind of on par with a lot of Natasha Denona formulation in terms of how highly used or utilized they are within makeup artists' makeup kits. I reckon if I was gonna go do makeup for people, not that I do do that very often, but I would take, if I were gonna take some eyeshadow palettes in my kit, I would take this one. I would take my Tati Beauty Textured Naturals eyeshadow palette, volume one, and I would take my Natasha Denona um, Purples, Blues, Greens eyeshadow palette, because it's actually got some really good browns in there and shades that are great for transitions and it's great for like artistry shades as well. So yeah, okay. Now that I've blended out that shade there, I'm not gonna go in too crazy, I suppose. I think I might just take some of this shade here, blend that over the eyelid. These shades are so pigmented, so incredibly pigmented. This is insane. I love that. I'm surprised that I haven't used these shades before, 
but I suppose with a palette that's like this expensive I wouldn't really go out and purchase it for myself that's a really beautiful thing about BoxyCharm is that you can try a whole heap of products that you wouldn't necessarily go out and purchase for yourself but it's like a lucky dip every single month when I receive my BoxyCharm and there's never really a whole heap of products that I'm unhappy with whenever I get my BoxyCharm that's the beauty about the quiz that you do on their website is that you pretty much get a lot of tools that you are happy with when you receive them all right this look is just something really quick and really easy and basically nothing really I just wanted to test out that eyeshadow on the eyes I do want to go in with one more and I think I'm gonna use some of this brown here and use that like almost like a, an eyeliner and run that along the lash line whoa that is pigmented that's insane I love that that smudges out really super nicely as well it's not catching on the skin I've got really dry eyelids at the moment and I'm surprised that it's not catching on the wrinkles and fine lines I've got presenting themselves but that's buffing out really really nicely that's come up super beautiful as like an eyeliner I do want to brighten up the inner corners and under the brow so I'm gonna take some of this white shade here and use that to highlight under the brow and also the inner corners so like I said I'm not doing any eye look that's too fancy or out there this would definitely be like a go-to eye look for me on a day where I want a little something something and it's just gonna help me look feel pretty you know what I mean it's all about how you feel really in the makeup that you wear this is probably a kind of a pick-me-up type look for me you know I don't want to go too dark or too smoky with the eye look just a little something to enhance what my mama gave me <laughs> all right there we go I really like the way that that eyeshadow applied under the eyelid and I do want to brighten under the eyes a little bit I haven't got any concealer under there like I said I didn't really feel like I needed any like coverage wise but I do want to brighten up a little bit so I'm just taking a little bit of that white eyeshadow and I don't know if this is gonna help or give me a white cast under there but I do just want to brighten up under there a little bit there we go that's definitely brightened up don't know if it looks good or not but it's definitely given me a little bit more brightness under the eyes there so that's good that's kind of what I was going for and it's applied really nicely too it hasn't caked up or bunched up in my fine lines so there we go whoa it looks crazy it looks crazy on camera but it doesn't actually in person it's given me a little bit of a white cast but that's okay I'm going to now go in with a bit of a face product so like a face base which is bronzer blush and highlight before I go on Art, love this palette I'm actually really super impressed with it this is the first time I've used it but it blended in really really nicely so it's really good for like a simple look and obviously you can amp it out with the darker shades in there as well and go in with a little bit more of an artistic look but like I said today I'm not gonna go too crazy with a look so now for the rest of the face I want to use some of the products in this Ofra Cosmetics good to go mini mix palette this is actually a really good formulation like I love the formulation that Ofra Cosmetics has with their bronzer blush and highlight I'm not really sure about that green one but the rest of them I really super love this highlight here is probably a little bit dark for me as a highlight but it's really good as a bronzer topper the only thing about it is I'm not overly impressed with the packaging it just looks really underwhelming to me however the products inside are actually so so good so I want a bronze today and I'm just gonna take a little bit of this bronzer here this is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH05 brush and it take up some of that and just bronze with that I love this bronzer it really comes in nicely with the tone of my skin just warms it up you know just gives me a little bit of that sun-kissed look it's a little bit more on the orange side but that's okay because I have quite a warm undertone in my skin almost like a yellow yellow tan type undertone so there we go that's so nice it's just like a little breath of warmth and it's just not over the top you know I'm not really into the super duper heavy coverage makeup looks anymore I mean don't get me wrong I love a full beat 
and there is a time and place for it but for normal everyday makeup if I was going to go out with makeup this is kind of something that I would do. I don't really wear makeup that often anymore which kind of makes me a little bit sad but at the same time it's just so much less effort to just throw on some skincare and not wear makeup anymore. However, this type of makeup, this kind of get up makes me feel so so pretty and if I wasn't talking while I was doing this on camera I could probably complete this look within like 10, 5, 10 minutes wouldn't take me very very long at all so as you can see that bronzer just blended in so nicely it didn't catch on anything I love the way that it's sitting on top of that foundation like that foundation doesn't feel sticky or yeah it just doesn't feel sticky or anything it's just applied really nicely and it just feels like it's meshed in and molded in really well with my skin I've had really really bad skin lately and so the fact that it's just sitting on my skin right now as it is without looking so dry and flaky it's really really impressing me so I'm gonna go in with some blush now I'm just taking some of that blush there and mixing it with a little bit of that one there in the palette and I'm using the JH04 brush it's almost the same as that but with a little bit of a taper and not as dense in the bristles and I find this type of brush really good for blush because it doesn't go in too heavy with the blush because the bristles are quite light and if you go in heavy with the blush, it's because you're heavy handed, which I am a little bit right now, but I actually don't mind a bit of that color on my cheeks. And I could always blend a bit of it out with a sponge if I feel like I've gone in a little bit too heavy with the blush. But I'm not minding this beautiful pink blush on my cheeks right now because like I said, I haven't worn a whole heap of makeup in the last several months. And the fact that I've got some color in my cheeks now kind of makes me really happy. <laughs> so like I said, if you go in with too much blush, initially you can always tone it down with the sponge that you use to apply your foundation. Just dab it out, tap it out, and just keep blending until you're happy with the beat. <laughs> now I'm gonna go in with some highlighter and I think I just wanna use this sponge to do this. And I'm just gonna take a mixture of these four highlights here. Now the Ofra Cosmetics highlighters have this intense glow as you can see there. You just need to be really careful with how heavy you apply this on the initial go because it's he it's easy to go in with too much all at once. So I just like to pick up a bit like this and then dab it on the skin like this. I love these highlighters. It's not very warm. This particular one is quite icy almost. Icy, ooh sorry icy and pink so I just want to make sure that I really blend that into the skin so it doesn't look like I have spilled some white washout on my face <laughs> what is white washout what do I mean like the white out you know the pen when you're writing pen white out kind of thing I don't know I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about but I love Ofra Cosmetics highlighters formula they just blend in so nicely into the skin I haven't used the Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighters but I've heard Ofra highlighters being compared to that. Another product that I really super love from Ofra is their long lasting liquid lipsticks. I've been using those for years now and I absolutely love that formula. I'm really sad I haven't received it in a boxy charm yet. I would really love to get Ofra Cosmetics long lasting liquid lipsticks in the boxy charm but haven't as yet maybe one day I will but yeah I'm not I'm really impressed with this Ofra highlight I have used their products before and I'm really happy to have received this one in a boxy charm I haven't received mascara in a boxy charm so I'm just gonna use a little bit of mascara this is a mascara that I received from Style Fana this is actually my favorite mascara of all time it's actually i don't think it's a you could call it a tubing mascara but it's a smudge proof or smudge free mascara that when you apply it it just goes on like a dream and then when you actually remove it at the end of the day or whenever you're removing your mascara you just go in with like a wet cotton pad and then wipe away and it all comes off in like one piece not one piece, but like it doesn't smudge everywhere and doesn't leave like black raccoon type rings around your eyes. That's what I really super love about this mascara. Oh, and if you smudge like that, like I just did, just let it um, dry and it'll, you can, it's very easily comes off with a little flick 
of a Q-tip. So anyway, I'm just gonna go in with a tiny little coating of this mascara, only on the upper lashes. I've been enjoying leaving the lower lash line quite bare. Um, I've just kind of been really enjoying the look of that lately. So there we go, bit of mascara, and that's it. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna let that dry in a bit, and then I'll flake it off. But for the lips, I don't want to go in with anything too heavy, like I said before, but I actually got this in my April BoxyCharm. This is a lip balm called Kiss My Period. Kiss My Period. Kiss My, I suppose, Kiss My Fill in the Blanks, I suppose. And it's from the brand called Rowan. This is a liquid lip balm. So I'm guessing it's maybe like a gloss maybe, or maybe a balm like they say it is. I love that color though. What's this shade? This is in the shade called Charlie. That's a really nice nude type lip. Oh, a really nice applicator too. Doe foot. Is that what you call doe foot? It looks like a rabbit's ear, a tiny little rabbit's ear. <laughs> anyway, let's go in. Ooh, it smells like those Christmas mints. I love that. Okay, so as far as pigmentation goes, colors go, there's not much color there. It's just a little hint or a little kiss of pink. I suppose as far as coverage goes, you don't want, like if you don't want coverage and you just want a little kiss of something on the lips, that's a really good product for that. I really love the smell of this. And it feels very hydrating, not too sticky or slick, and it just feels very comfortable on the lips. Oh, I think I've got a favorite lip balm. And you're not supposed to eat this, but I'm guessing it tastes like mints. <laughs> you're not supposed to eat it. But I mean, let's be real here. Any product that we apply on our, our lips, we are most likely eating a fair percentage of them. So I like that. I can't stop applying this. I think I've got a new favorite lip product. Mm, love that, very pouty, very glossy. I like that a lot. Okay, well, as far as makeup goes, this is my basic routine these days. My hair hasn't been the best. It's been falling out. <laughs> I need to brush it. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll get some hair products in BoxyCharm that'll help my hair look softer and glossier, much like my makeup today. I like my makeup though. I really like how it came out. Very simple very uh, unassuming and actually really love the way that everything applied everything's blended in quite nicely on the skin and really happy with that so that's it for this video it's really not very much today but i just wanted to sit down and put on some makeup that made me feel pretty and i think it helps a little bit <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta sit down and do that, you know, and just have a bit of a play with makeup. It was really nice to have a chance to put to use the products that I've been receiving from BoxyCharm. Often it's easy to just receive them, have a look at them, and they just sit in the box and I don't really get to enjoy them. I hope you guys get a chance to do that sometime soon, even if you just did it today while I was doing this video. Take some time for yourself, take some time to put makeup on to feel pretty, and yeah. That's really it for this video. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If there's anything else that you guys wanna see or any products that you love in your BoxyCharm that you would like to see me put to use in some videos, let me know. I'm really happy with the things that I've gotten in recent BoxyCharms. I just wish that I had more of a chance to use them. I think the two things I've been the most excited about to receive in BoxyCharms has actually been this Becca foundation and this lip balm. These two are actually so, so good. And I'm pretty sure that they retail for a lot more than I paid for my BoxyCharm altogether. So anyway, that really is it for this video. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.